Thousands of people across the country are now turning to online fundraising to make a dream happen. The dream? Grow their family. Now, this is the story of how a family of three grew to four with the addition of an adopted child. Yeah. He's a dream, and he's home. It wasn't easy. He was 5 pounds, 10 ounces, which was just so tiny. <laughs> Krista and her husband are adopting Timothy. He's eight months old now. They traveled to Kentucky to pick him up. The whole process, legal fees, agency fees, travel, cost a bundle. It just goes so much more beyond you um, that the red tape and the finances, while it's huge, uh, it, it doesn't become the main thing. You're okay. You can do it. And Krista and her husband aren't done. They want to adopt again. You definitely have that moment afterwards of, okay, <laughs> let's regroup. The couple is turning to online crowdfunding to help make a second dream happen. And they're not alone. Their page, just one of many on GoFundMe's babies, kids, and family category. It's a way to get family and friends really involved in the adoption process and um, get them really excited about the adoption journey that the adoptive family is going to be on. So why are more people fundraising on the internet to pay for adoption? Well, the price for an adoption of an infant in the United States can run as high as the price of a brand new car. Are you talking? Hi. Timothy is a $31,000 baby, but the couple isn't worried. They believe friends from all over the world will help out on round two. We had a friend that was um, deployed in Afghanistan who um, was able to support us through GoFundMe, which was amazing that he was even thinking of us. Oh, yeah, we're sleepy. Krista knows some people will think the cost is crazy, but to them, a chance to change a life is worth way more than getting a new car. We just really feel like this is this is what we're called to do, and um, there's babies that need homes. Well, the Castro family hopes to raise $5,000 toward the adoption cost to grow from two children to three. In the past, they've told their story here on this page. They've sold T-shirts, held garage sales, dipped into the bank account to make up the difference. Now, if you're not interested in contributing to GoFundMe, you're a little worried about that particular website or just doing it online, there's another option. You can look up the adoption agency. A lot of adoption agencies are online. You can look them up. You can call them directly and you can make a donation through the agency in the couple's name. It will still get to that particular couple.